Let's read some of the comments that you left behind on the I Quit My Job video. This is going to get very interesting. So this is a really, really good comment. Ross Porter says, Hey Keegan, can I give you some honest advice on what I've noticed about your experience with both jobs? I have seen some attitude towards people critiquing your work and following the rules of the jobs. The real, the seal sanctuary made it very clear that they don't allow recording of the premises. But yet you went ahead and made the videos and surprised that they weren't happy with it. As well as the pet store. You know the customers were not allowed to use the facility, but you didn't care about the rules and again surprised that they called you on it. It's not that I didn't care about that one rule of uh, letting customer on the toilet. It only happened once. And the woman came to me, a German woman, she said and asked me very, very nicely. I said, you're not really allowed to, but since you really need to, I'll, I'll let you go on the toilet. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Then they told me afterwards that the only times that customers are allowed on the toilet is when they're disabled, elderly, pregnant or children. But just to let you know, clarify, that had nothing to do with them not being, you know, glad about my work. That was a one time thing. I told them, OK, it won't happen again. And it never happened after that. Personally, I would have told the manager that you were really interested in doing a good job. I did tell them that I really enjoyed the job and I liked the job. I told them on the spot. So, yeah, I just thought I'd clarify that. Can they work with you about what they had issues with? Well, I did say within the beginning to her, my boss, a.k.a. my manager, I did tell her that I had autism and that I find some situations maybe a bit different. And in some situations, I might act a bit different. So just to let you know, I also told her prior, I'd never had prior experience working in a supermarket or whatsoever. And she said, OK, no problem. Well, we're working on that. But I, I think this is a really, really good comment. Self-reflection, you know, what's something that I should work on next time? And this is something I've told myself afterwards. Communication is so important. You know what? Fuck it. The next job, man, I, I better just tell everybody, listen, hey, this and this and that, this is who I am. This is what I have. And then they just know, okay, maybe we can go chill out. But it's also like me, for example, this is the real world. I have to accept shit like this. Sometimes it's just what it is. You got to just go with the flow. I think you were hasty in quitting the job. I think you should call the manager and have a serious discussion with them. Well, the decision has already been made. It's a bit too late. You know, we're a week later. I was never really hasty. I never wanted to quit the job. As I mentioned, I really enjoyed the job. I was enjoying the job. It's just some things played a factor in behind the scenes that I obviously hadn't mentioned on video. But I was like, oh, man, that's just the real world. You know, sometimes you just got to be like that towards each other. But uh, no, it's a really good comment. Sorry to hear, Keegan. If I'm being honest, you really should not miss any day for at least three months if you start a new job. Even if you're feeling sick, you get sick a lot. I do get sick a lot and I still don't understand why I get so sick often. I don't get it and don't feel like going. That's where being an adult is. Any job here, if I were to call in sick after only a few weeks, they want to let me go too. If you get another job, try not to call in. Just some friendly advice. Well, I would definitely take that advice. Thank you. Sad to hear that, Keegan, but at least you lasted a month. Chris Dinker. I love the peanut. It's awesome. I've been predicting my girl would quit in the month. Who's waiting on her to get a new job so we can take new bets in our fair she'll take to lose it? Why are you calling me a girl, man? Man got a taste of the real world and said, fuck this shit. I'm out. I would have quit too if given an end date. That's so disrespectful to you. Somebody replied, I mean, he was in a probationary period. He didn't sign a contract. I actually had signed a contract, believe it or not. Customer service jobs aren't for you. Try looking at manufacturing instead. Pays more, has overtime, and you mind your business. No dealing with rude customers. How am I supposed to read this shit? Look at this. You gotta go back to school, man. You don't work hard. Work is... That's why you don't know how to keep a job. You're gonna get another job, and it's gonna be the same way. Because you're really looking at jobs in the wrong way. Jobs ain't gonna be fun. It's about business. That's it. Shaking my head. I told you the world can't care about your disability. You gotta still work like everyone else. Is half your keyboard gone? Yeah, dude, I agree. What is this? Interesting perspective, I gotta say, you know, besides the, the, you know, the comment making no much sense, you know, it's a very interesting perspective, you know, regardless of the comment being written like that. I think you need to get back working with animals. If there's no humans around it, it may go better. These workplaces want bloody, want blood these days and will pay you minimum in return. Well, I mean, I did sign up for minimum wage. I accepted it and I was like, it is what it is. Everything you are describing is the reason why everybody else is so stressed out and why we turn to ASMR to relax. Work is BS. Don't expect a pat on the back because it rarely happens. Alright, let's go on my ASMR channel. Let's see what the comments say on that one. I gotta say, I actually really agree with the majority of the comments. Just to let you know, I appreciate the honesty. I really do. So thank you for that. Ah, I hate when you're at a new job and they literally get angry at you for not knowing what you're doing when they haven't told you what to do. Like, I'm literally new. What did they expect? I used to work so hard at my last job and all they do is complain that I was never doing enough. I feel like a lot of places just see you as a robot and don't appreciate the hard work and effort you put in. Hope you find a job that's right for you soon, though. Thank you.
And by the way, you actually got fired. You didn't quit, judging by the story behind it. That is incorrect. They gave me the chance or opportunity, as you want to say. Basically, hey, you can work these two last weeks and really prove that you want the job. Or obviously, you can decide now or later within these two weeks that you don't want to do the job. I didn't get fired. Have you ever thought about freelance work in an area you're ex- interested in or organizations like Exceptional? I don't know if they have something similar where you are, but it's IT slash game design companies that specifically hires autistic people. No, I've actually never looked into freelance work. I do know that I'm pretty physically strong picking up stuff. I can do that. Somebody says, Keegan, you were fired. Yet again, incorrect. I was not fired. Give your life to Jesus, bro. He loves you. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> Bro didn't even take one sip. Yeah, because I don't like drinking that much. I'm not a, I'm not a, not a person who likes alcohol. Bro's face is a kneecap? I've never seen a comment that said that about me. How dare you? Have you ever thought about construction? No, I have not actually. But that may be not a bad thing. But knowing me, I probably would bitch and moan about it so often. You know me already. I love your content, but you keep posting the same vids in your ASMR podcast channel. You're 100% correct. It's kind of sad looking at the older content, how good it actually used to be. And now look at the the stuff I've been making for the past two years, how shit it actually is. So, conclusion is, it's the reality of the world. Some people say, and some people say, oh man, you know, that's how it is. Look, I appreciate the honesty and I thought we'd sit back, and relax, and just read some of the comments. As, as much as some of them maybe hurts, hey, it is the truth, man. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate those who are honest and upfront and said, listen, this is just how the real world is. Gotta fucking accept and deal with it, man. Sometimes it is what it is.